From the classroom to the emergency room, OR and beyond, you're joining Trauma ICU Rounds with your host, Dr. Dennis Kim. Welcome back to Trauma ICU Rounds. I'm your host, Dr. Dennis Kim, and I want to thank you once again for joining us. Earlier this week, AAST kicked off, and I got to say, I have been super impressed with the virtual platform. There have been some fantastic talks, social events, and breakout sessions, including the add-on session this past Tuesday, Trends, Updates, and Controversies in Acute Care Surgery. Remember that registration is free for fellows, residents, and students. Also, if you missed a session or a presentation, these talks are available on demand through the end of the year, so please be sure to check this great feature out of this year's program. Just to echo what Dr. Spain Livingston and so many others have already stated, none of this could have been achieved without the fantastic and incredibly hard work and dedication from the likes of Sharon Gauchi, Jermika Smith, and Bria Sanders, who were acknowledged for their 15, 10, and 5 years of incredible service to the premier trauma organization, respectively. Thank you so much for what you do. So I have to admit, I actually didn't have plans to release another episode since we last chatted with Dr. Megan Brenner on the past, present, and future of Reboa until the release of the season two trailer. But a couple of nights ago, I was talking with my mom and she asked where I'd been and why I hadn't released any new episodes. In short, she had accused me of a well-known phenomenon in the podcast world known as Pod Fade. When I explained that season one was over and that I had been posting and talking about this on social media, specifically Twitter, I came to the stark realization that many of our listeners, including the world's or my world's number one biggest fan, um, they're not or you're not on social media. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to let everyone know that we're still here and eagerly anticipating and preparing for the launch of Season 2 of Trauma ICU Rounds. Just to recap Season 1, the theme for our first 25 episodes was really the A, B, and C of trauma slash critical care, or if you recall our rounds with Dr. Paula Ferrada, the CAB of trauma critical care. And I want to take this opportunity to both thank and recognize our incredible guest professors from season one. This includes Drs. Matt Martin, Paula Ferrada, Sam Tisherman, Marty Schreiber, Eric Lay, Clay Berlew, and Megan Brenner for taking time out of their busy schedules to join us on rounds. These amazing clinicians and academicians are just incredible role models and experts in the fields of trauma, acute care, surgery, and surgical critical care. I sincerely hope that, like me, you were able to walk away from those rounds with a few new clinical pearls regarding the management of your critically ill and injured patients. Between now and the launch of Season 2, make sure to check out the website for updated and new show notes. That's TraumaICURounds.com. Also, please be sure to check out the Season 2 trailer being launched after the double AST meeting next weekend. The focus or the theme for next season is acute care surgery and the management of common and potentially life-threatening emergency general surgery problems. Over the course of approximately 25 new episodes, we are going to be joined by some incredible guest professors, so stay tuned. So if you're not on Twitter, please join and give me a follow. That's at Trauma ICU Rounds. Next Tuesday and Wednesday, September 15th and 16th, we'll be having an EAST, that's the Eastern Association for the Surgery of Trauma, Twitter Journal Club. So please join in on the conversation. We'll be discussing our somewhat recently published East PMG on the evaluation and management of blunt cerebral vascular injury. And that will be followed up shortly with an interview for the show with Dr. Walt Biffle out of Scripps Mercy La Jolla, who knows a thing or two about BCVI. I mean, come on, the injury severity grading scale is referred to or known as the Biffle scale. 
So once again, thank you all for your support. Please do continue to let us know how we can continually improve the show. And if there are certain topics or conditions that we should be covering. Just last evening, uh, Noah Bork was asking about a Burns episode via Twitter. And we'll be sure that that very important topic is incorporated into our next season. Remember, if you find rounds and the content helpful, let us and share it with the world let us all know please do leave any and all positive comments and ratings regarding rounds wherever you normally download your podcasts i'd be super appreciative of that and make sure to share the show with your friends and colleagues again until the launch of our next season coming in a couple weeks be sure to visit the website traumaicurounds.com we are continually updating and uploading show notes from the last season once again, you can follow me on Twitter at Trauma ICU Rounds, and please feel free to drop me a line at Trauma ICU Rounds at gmail.com. Until next time, stay safe, keep reading, and please take care of yourself and one another. <laughs> <laughs>